Hey guys, I'm here at Long Beach, California. This is Electrify 2022. Let me show you some of my favorite vehicles. Okay, yeah, so this is the Go Cycle G4i Plus. This is the top of the line. The carbon wheels, the carbon midframe. It's, you know, it's significantly lighter than most other e-bikes in the world. What's the weight? Uh, this one's uh, 36 pounds. It's lightweight, it's clean, which often doesn't get communicated. The patented clean drive keeps your clothes clean. It also keeps it really low maintenance. Theoretically, it's no maintenance. Height adjustable handlebars, daytime running light. Oh, that the front low, there. Low blinking, high, high blinking. The battery is removable. This is the battery. Uh, just this ring pulls out and it folds. It just yanks out like that. When I travel with the Go Cycle, you know, I go out to eat, but I just bring it in. I take this off, give it the thin profile, and then I, I go to the Starbucks and do my emails in the morning. Yeah, that folds. That's that folds in nice and tight. It you got does. a place for the pedal there. I yeah. see. Yeah. There's nowhere that I haven't been able to take it in, and plus it's clean. There's no no exposed grease. Appreciate the uh, walkthrough on that. Yeah, that's, Mike. That's a killer yeah. bike. Yeah. So the company is uh, Two Swift Boards, and it's out of Cleveland, Ohio, is where we started this thing. So it's a 500 watt hub motor in the back, um, and then the battery is a 12S 3B configuration, uh, 43.2 volts nominal. Um, and usually we get about uh, you know 20 miles of range, and then the top speed is 24 miles an hour. 24? Yeah. How does it ride at 24? Is it pretty stable? Or? Yeah, it's actually super stable. So like the way that the uh, the front steering mechanism is designed with that caster, uh, and we got it angled back a little bit, so the wheel is actually always wants to stay centered when the deck is parallel to the ground. So it automatically centers itself, and then when you put it into a little lean input, you get a little bit of turn in the wheel. Okay. Um, so when you're riding it slow at low speeds, you can actually you can really put some serious input into this thing and get it to turn around in a really tight turning radius. Thanks for like, uh, tell me about it, yeah. So you're sand with Dingo Moto, right? Dingo Moto. This is called the Plain Jane because it's not painted, it's just a bare frame. It has a 72 volt, uh, 50 amp hour battery with a 3,000 watt system. It lasts, what, 65, 70 miles? Well, yeah. See, at what speed, like? If you're coasting, if you're cruising, yeah. Coasting? Yeah, it does go, I mean, these things do go pretty quick. They're probably 55 plus. 55 miles an hour on this small thing. Yeah. How does that, how does that feel? It's scary, it's fun. <laughs> scary fun, I guess you could say, yeah. I, I like scary fun. fun. Yeah, but I'm gonna get really creative with these things. This is just the beginning of what's in my head. I'm gonna do a lowrider edition with hydraulics, airbag ed edition. This guy's gonna be the limit. So you got off-road tires on this thing. Is it, is, how does it handle off-road? How I'm does it handle? I'm on the rear suspension at the moment. It does not have rear suspension, but I have a, I do, I, I have a cabin up in Big Bear and I took it on the trails over there. It does pretty good. It, it the the gear ratio does not help it <laughs> yeah. so on the incline it does it, it, it struggles yeah, right so this hand. is like for snow then you got the track on the back the, the skis in the front yep. and they fold down so, so they do fold down so you can uh, so you do have access to the oh well, that's cool the snow. <laughs> nice yeah how deep a snow can you go in? I'd say it was probably like six inches. And I was going through it fine. Yeah. I appreciate the, let me know about these, man. Yeah, this is no awesome. Yeah, it was, it's called Aptera. So it's a solar electric vehicle. So it goes up to a thousand miles on a single charge. Um, but also the solar panels are like a trickle charger. So it'll charge the battery pack 40 miles a day, like in, in San Diego, for example. What? So you get over 11,000 miles of free solar driving per year just from the solar. You can sleep two in the back. And in production, this is actually going to be four inches longer and two inches deeper so already it's big the seats go forward and, and out and then there's a clip that goes from here to there so like you can lay your feet on the clip so it's going to be like basically seven feet of room like dang which is awesome or, yeah we sell a tent that goes right over top here so you have a little zipper here you can put you know, your laptop here or whatever your stove so you got screens in here in the interior yes so yeah the center screen is you know the infotainment uh, autonomous features all that will show up there. These are actually uh, combined in, in production. These are the, the side mirrors and there's going to be a center display here that shows left and right always when the vehicle's on. It's all about aerodynamics first. This has a drag coefficient of 0.13. Um, a Tesla I think is like 0.22 or something. So wow. basically this is at least like twice as efficient as a Tesla. How fast can it go? Oh it goes all the way up to 110 mile an hour so it's 
kind of like a sports car, I like to say. Uh, the uh, motors are in the wheels, which is neat. It's a, one of the first production vehicles to have. Oh, the motors in the, the wheel. wheel. Yeah, so there's no axles spinning to connect them. It kind of looks weird, but that helps so much with aerodynamics because the air's not just spewing around everywhere. Yeah. So it's a huge design feature. The yeah, casing it, over the tires, what exactly, you're talking about yeah, there. The okay. Yeah. In production, there's like fins, so you don't see anything exposed. Aventura X is the name of the company. What makes these guys special is um, actually removable battery. So most uh, electric uh, vehicles or, or scooters or anything, you've got to actually take the product itself as a whole and find the charging station. So here, as you can see with the black one, the removable batteries here in the back. Oh, yeah, you get a little workout there. There's, yeah, but as you're going up the stairs. It comes with one green. So then you get one black, you get 35 miles for $2.99. The next step would be this one here, which would give you 50 miles, which would be $4.99 extra. And then we top out at two blacks, which will give you 70 miles to one charge, and that's $8.99. It gives you, gives you some weight in the rear end, you know what I mean? So the scooter, it's not front heavy. Yeah. So you're actually going to be able to corner a lot better, you're going to have better control with this additional weight back here. What's the top speed, things like that? 30. 30 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour. Yeah. There's a storage, storage right here. Department. Yeah. Okay. Throw your keys in there, or a wallet, or a hat, whatever. That's pretty awesome. Feel free to sit on it. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Juice Bikes. What model is this? This is the Hyper Scrambler 2. So it's a dual battery. Both batteries are 52 volts, 19.2 amp hours. Oof, man. Basically two kilowatts of power on there. It's got front and rear shocks. Both adjustable. It's got a 64 tooth chain ring. See your hydraulic brakes, front and uh, and rear turn signals. Five levels of assist. Hit top speed in race mode, which is an off-road, 30 plus, and that's pedaling. Yeah. Throttle is gonna be 20 plus. You're gonna get 90 to 100 at 20 miles an hour flat. Well, I'm Benjamin McGill, uh, head of North America operations for New Technologies. This is the MQI GT Evo. This is our newest moped model that just came out. Uh, it's top speed of we rate it at 62 miles per hour. It can get up to about 70. The system is a dual battery system, both interchangeable right here in the uh, in the seat box. And you plug in the batteries right there, removable. You can just plug them right into any 120 volt socket out of the wall. Recharge is about five and a half hours. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, five and a half hours. It's a fast charging unit that we have that splits and it'll connect both batteries at the same time. This has a 5,000 watt continuous motor on it. And uh, that's basically the, the largest motor you can put inside a 14 inch wheel. So you got some serious, you got some power for hills then. Yeah, absolutely. This thing can climb with two people on it. The steepest incline you can find in San Francisco. Honestly. Really? Yeah. With two people? With two people on it. The unit of course is keyless as well. So you can power on the unit by just using the key fob. All of our units you can attach tailboxes to for storage. You can attach uh, uh, bags for the front to be able to store things like your phone. This unit right here, you're going to be looking at about 80 miles range. Okay, cool. Hey, appreciate yeah. it, man. No problem. Yeah. All right, so we are Zoo's Bikes. We're based out of Fort Worth, Texas. Three models. This is this is our Ultra Urban series. Um, three different drivetrains. We have our 250, our 750, and 1100. And the range on this one is about, this one does 30 to 33 miles an hour, depending on kind of weight and whatever your terrain is. And it's 30 to 40 miles yeah. on a range uh, with this battery. So it offers a, an adjustability, a, an enormous amount of ranges on how you want to ride, what your position is, you know. You see a lot of stunting and things on our bikes. The kids like love it because it's a big seat and they're able to move around. I don't know what you know about like the bike culture stuff, but yeah, um, a lot of that. Well, thanks for uh, running me through all this. Yeah, you bet. So we're uh, Silver Sky, and this one is the uh, S5 2000. Um, watt brushes motor he has 60 volt bat battery so what's the top speed of this 20 miles per hour top range and it goes 35 miles that's the, to the charge. that's the range yeah and uh we could get this at it's 1350 for diller our mrs is uh 18.99 this is c bob it is the world's fastest dive speed so to reach speeds of up to 14 miles an hour on the top model that's above surface and below surface so it'll dive down to 130 feet Whenever you feel uncomfortable, you can simply let go of the unit. It'll disengage and float back up to the surface. So it is positively oh, cool. buoyant. And hopefully you float up to the surface as well. Hopefully you do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you had this flat out, you know, 10 feet underwater, flat out, how long yeah. would it go? Uh, so the range on average is two to three hours on a full charge. Wow. One hour full speed. When you think about full speed underwater, 14 miles an hour, that's some serious power. Yep, our standard charge time is around seven hours, so overnight. We have a separate accessory. It'll charge it fully in 90 minutes. 
So then the controls and everything, you, you hold on here, two handles, you got, are these controls buttons here? The yeah, four? right, so you see the two black handlebars, you'll hold onto those two with your arms fully extended. You'll tap the green to increase, increase your power level to go faster. You'll tap red to decrease your power level to go slower. If you look on our white model here, you'll see there's an integrated camera system, right? So a selfie cam and a forward facing cam. If you tap your silver button, it'll start recording. You tap it again, it'll start recording what's in front of you. You tap blue to get out of your recording, and you tap blue again to go into your settings. So you have faster, camera, settings, slow. Your throttle, your on-off, is right here where you're holding on to. Price-wise, mm -hmm. they start at 10000 and they go up to, to 18000 So as you go up in price, as you go up in model, you have uh, bigger battery, more horsepower, uh, you know, sport, sportier driving for the fins on the side, camera systems, different bells and whistles get added. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, thanks. So we are with Upco, utility bike company. Okay, cool. Uh, so based in Eugene, we started in uh, New Zealand. So we yeah. have two different bikes. We've got our work bike here. Um, difference between this bike and that bike, they're the exact same bike build. Um, that bike being our adventure bike has turn indicators, in-dash display, is more something you can register to be street legal. Nice. This bike here is just more of our work-driven bike, so it um, doesn't come with the turn indicators, comes with a little bit of a knobby or tire. Uh, it's just gonna give you that more adventure and, and work component to it. They're two-wheel drive, so it's a thousand watt hub motor on the front and the back. Battery on there is a 3.1 kilowatt battery, so that'll give you up to 75 miles on a single charge. We do offer a 2.1 kilowatt battery, which will give you up to 50 miles on a single charge. If you want to do utility, add a bunch of racks, panniers, safety, whatever, or gear, you can do that. Our payload on it is 330 pounds. So between the rider, we do about 100 pounds on the back and about 30 pounds on the front. What's the price tag on that? So on this one is the work bike um, with the smaller battery, which I mentioned 2.1 is 6,000. The larger battery is 7,000 when you go to the street version. Um, that's you can register it's seven thousand for the smaller battery and eight thousand for the large battery okay right on man so, yeah thanks for the rundown yeah Appreciate you got it, it. absolutely yeah. <laughs> okay so uh it's p51 bikes it's because it's like world war ii it's all metal right industrial yeah. square tubing so i i tested it rode it bent the frames broke them and kept going till they were bulletproof and uh and this is what we end up with it's 25 miles an hour max thumb throttle 750 motor 48 volt battery uh, we have a couple of different uh, size batteries. What's the price range on this? So this one's 3850. The next size battery is 3950. We made them so you can slide off. You just unlock it, slide the battery off, put another one on if you wanted to, and now you got a whole new setup. Yeah, I like the placement. It's usually they're like down here on the down section, but yeah. you got it right there at the top. So riding dirt bikes, you know to lock your knees, right? You turn the corners, your knees hold the bike with you. So having something there to lock your knees onto you, if you really want to ride it like that, helps. I appreciate the uh, walk me through that. Yeah, That's no awesome. Worries, really. So we're Onyx Motorbikes. This is our RCR, stands for Racer. Uh, this one right here goes up to 60 miles an hour top speed. We have our throttle here. We have our front brake lever. We have our regen, our rear brake lever here. We do have headlights here. They're pretty nice and bright. We have our turn signals, our horn. And then, um, other than that, we have two different sizes, a shorty and we have a uh, standard. This one right here happens to be a shorty. Uh, the one next to me over here happens to be a standard. They come in two different colors, the main colors, silver or black panels. The wood is standard on all of them. This one is set with a dirt kit and this is set with a street kit. Going about 20 miles an hour, like you mentioned, on a 23, you can probably hit about 50 mile range. My Maybe going, uh, on, a, on a 41 app, you can go about 75. Well, thanks for the rundown, man. Oh, appreciate sure. it. Anytime. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, this is a Plum Motorbikes GT7. So we have two models, a GT7 and then a GT5. Everything is street legal, so it's classified as a Class 2 or Class 3 e-bike. This has a 750-watt motor, tops out at 28 miles per hour. Actually 30, but we're not supposed to say that. And then 48-volt, 17-amp-hour Samsung battery. Twist throttle and pedal assist. Full throttle, like pinning it, going fast the whole time, about 20 miles. The pedal assist feature, you'll go about 30 or even 40 miles. Kind of has the slack of a downhill bike. Yeah. And the, obviously the styling of a chopper. Here's genuine uh, motorcycle seats that are by Bill Well. What, so you got the foot pegs back here? Is that just for? Yeah, we do wheelies on them. <laughs> yeah, well, nice. uh, one or two things, you can ride a passenger 
It can stand up here and just hold your shoulders. Girls like to do that. Or uh, we use it to do wheelies as well. Right on, man. I appreciate yeah. the walk me through that. This is Arkimoto. This is the FUV, which is a fun utility vehicle. Two electric motors in front, independent drivetrains in each one. This is where our battery packs are. There's two, two modules in there. Keeps the weight nice and low. What's the range? About 100 miles of city driving. Freeway capable. You can go out on the freeway with it. You can do 75 miles an hour. What did you guys got up to? Got it up to? Off the record, 84. 84 off the, off the record. <laughs> off the record. <laughs> yeah. Dang. And 75 is our official top speed. So. 75. How does it handle at 75? Great. I mean, it, it really is. It's uh, it's stable. It doesn't wobble. It doesn't do any of that. It's a little bit loud, um, just because you got a lot of wind. Yeah. Uh, and don't have any windows blocking the wind. But uh, so yeah. just the front one here. Does it come with side, or is it just is that the whole idea? Just keep it open. Well, we have we have half door options. Uh, and there's one over in our ride and drive section that has the half doors, mm -hmm. so you can see that. Uh, but we don't have a full inside. Well, hey, thanks for the info. You bet.